Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. In this video we're going to be talking about a new card that has been spoiled for release in Code of the Duelist. That is the set that we will be getting around the August to September time frame. It will also be the first core set that we will be getting in the Link Summoning era of the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But what we're talking about today is a new Trap Tricks card that has been spoiled for release that is actually kind of cool in terms of how it uh, can function with the deck and what it can add to the deck's repertoire of nonsense to work with. Now, the card in question is Trap Tricks Coronatus. It is a Earth Insect Effect Monster. It's level 4. It's got 1500 attack and 1300 defense. So still falling in line within that Trap Tricks theme of all of the Trap Tricks monsters. Their attacks and defense all always equal uh, 2800 when you add them together. Uh, just a neat little bit of trivia and lore there. Uh, as, far as, uh, as far as if you didn't know that, if you look at all of them, they all add up to 2800. Um, but so this is keeping in line with that, but it's got three effects and they're kind of cool I mean two of them are one is just the static thing that all the trap tricks have but first effect is when this card is normal summoned You can add one trap tricks monster from your deck to your hand second effect This card is unaffected by the effects of whole normal trap cards So the normal nonsense that you know trap tricks have had access to over the past basically three years and then it's a uh, third effect is once per turn during either player's turn you can target one set spell or trap card you control return that target to the hand then you can set one spell or trap card from your hand now the thing that i have a few qualms with about this card i think this card is fantastic by the way i love this card i love its artwork i love its just basic like what it does it gives support to an old deck that's already seen competitive success as far as being like an engine in hat decks and stuff like that but this just allows you to build upon it further especially since the deck has its own exclusive trap as its own exclusive exceeds in the form of track tricks uh, reflasia i'm a big fan of all of this i'm a big fan of this support for trap tricks but my problem with it is that they could have easily made this card better and it wouldn't have really hurt anything. That's the thing. Is that Konami has this bad habit of pulling back on potential card design when it doesn't really need to be balanced that way. And then other things like Zodiac Rap here and Norden will just be through the roof as far as like just brief examples of cards that are just designed so poorly or are just designed to be very powerful for an archetype. What I'm, what I'm saying in this is that I believe this card's effect could have been tweaked just a little bit, just to make it a little bit better, mainly in the normal summon effect uh, department. The normal summon effect to add a Trap Tricks monster from your deck to your hand is very good. It's very good, yes. But I believe this effect could have also been something along the lines of when this card is special summoned. Because if you'll notice, this card does not have a win special summoned effect, whereas the other prominent Trap Tricks monsters do have win normal summoned effects, or win, uh, win normal summoned effects and win special summoned effects, like Mermelio and Dianea, to be very specific. And then the other Trap Tricks monsters, they don't have a win special summoned effect, but they have a continuous effect that applies to the board, like Atrax, allowing your, continue, your uh, whole trap cards to be activated from hand, and allowing you to uh, not have them negated in any way, shape, or form. And then uh, Nephinthus allowing you to um, allowing you to do something else. It's like whenever a normal whole trap card is activated, you can add a trap tricks from your deck to your hand or special summon it. So it's essentially like along the same lines as like what this card does for the deck, but just a much more specific interaction. Uh, but this card essentially, this is one of the insect monsters, and the insects being Dynea and Mermilio, as opposed to the plants, have always had a normal summon and a special summon effect. Now this one doesn't have a special summon effect, it has a normal summon effect and a continuous effect that applies on board. I feel like this card could have easily said when this card is normal or special summoned you can add a trap tricks because then that would have given a huge amount of utility to the deck, uh, allowing it to play things like Naturia Sacred Tree a lot more effectively because you'd be able to special this card out off of your Sacred Tree, search for something like Dianea, and then it would you know give you good card advantage. It wouldn't be game breaking by any stretch of the imagination. But it would just be really good. It would also have an interesting interaction with Dianea, giving you sort of a Deneb Altair interaction where you could Dianea special this back, get a search for another Dianea. It would allow the deck to be able to function on a much more longevitous basis, which would have been completely fine and completely healthy as far as a rank 4 engine goes. I mean, they've printed that in the past in the form of Satel, and it's completely power creeped out of the game, so they could have easily gotten away with that. But. I digress. Now, it's third effect. The once per turn you can put a set spell or trap from your field to your hand and then set a spell or trap. Uh, that, I'm not quite sure 
what specifically the applications for this are meant to be. I guess it would be really cool if like you max your opponent and they let you draw some cards and you have a card that's set that you really don't really care about or it's not really going to be very applicable for the situation and you could just bounce and reset a card. I'm not quite sure. I think the entire purpose of this effect is actually just to dodge back row destruction. And if that's the case, I think it's a very underwhelming effect to have for a continuous effect of a card of this caliber. Especially considering that we already have things like uh, like Trap Tricks Atrax that allow you to activate whole normal trap cards from your hand. And also not have them be negated as far as their activation or effect. Uh, so I think that its continuous effect is not really the greatest. But it is good for dodging back row removal. Now the problem is... <laughs> the problem is, is that if you bounce a set spell or a trap card to your hand and it is a trap card and then you reset it with this card's effect, even if you reset the exact same card, it is a new set that is not going to be able to be activated that turn if it's a trap card, if it's the same card you bounced just to dodge a back row removal, or if it's something else. Like, you essentially, you essentially still can't activate the card, so it doesn't really give you a lot of flexibility there as far as what it does for you, but it does allow you to dodge back row destruction, so I guess that is kind of cool, but... I still think it's not really the greatest of what could have been messed with. If you're worried about back row destruction and you have access to something like Naturia Sacred Tree, then you could easily just rotate this card out for a Trap Tricks Atrax, activate those cards from hand, you're not worried about back row destruction anymore. That's, that's at least the thought process I have for it. But I think that this card is great because of the fact that it's just a generic Stratos. But I feel like it could have easily had a special summon effect as well to search for a Trap Tricks monster. I feel like that would have been completely fine and wouldn't have been game-breaking at all. It would have made the deck absolutely a good rogue option because it would have given it a longevity-based game plan with Dianea and this card as alongside Mermelio, alongside Naturia Sacred Tree, rotating out into Nephinthus to give you extra searches in weird situations and all that sort of stuff. I feel like it would have been a really fine card had they done that, but unfortunately because it's tied down to normal summons, it needs to have a certain little bit of extra uh, persuasion given to it, essentially. You have to draw the card, you can't rotate into it off Sacred Tree and get its uh, search effect, all that sort of stuff and all that sort of nonsense. I feel like this card could have easily been made a little bit better and it wouldn't have been made game-breaking, but I still am a huge fan of the card. I'm a big fan of when older decks get more support, especially when it's good support, and this is definitely good support, it's just not something that's going to bring that old deck up to any sort of competitive standard or competitive par line, but... Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this card in the comments down below. Whether you like it, whether you hate it, whether you think Trap Tricks don't need any more new cards, whether you think old archetypes should just be forgotten, all that sort of stuff. I'm curious of your opinions in the comments down below, as always. But other than that, as usual, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and all the nonsense you usually do. Links are in the description to my Facebook and my Patreon page if you want to support the channel directly. Then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of this month for a box of Maximum Crisis, is what I'm giving away at the end of this month for the people that support me throughout the month of April. So if you're interested in that, go check out the details over on Patreon. But other than that, if you want to buy or sell cards while indirectly supporting the channel, then check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've dealt with thus far. So definitely check out their site and let them know the Phoenix sent you. But other than that, again, let me know what your thoughts are on this card in the comments down below. Whether Let me know whether or not you agree with me on like this thing's effects could have been made better. If you think that the special summon thing would have been fine, or if you think I'm just insane. Uh, all that sort of stuff. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Let me know what you guys think. But other than that, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. And as usual, guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video.